All right, here is a look at our current temperatures. We talked about this all week last week. We knew that this heat wave was heading our way. The temperatures for us are expected to just intent continue to increase as we get farther into the week, peaking about midweek. So the temperatures you're seeing here right now are just the beginning of what we are headed toward. Now here's a look at the watches and mornings and you can see quite a bit of the state is within some form of heat advisory. The area that we are looking at here is the excessive heat warning. So all the areas within this color, whether here in Central Oregon to our south or in the valley is expected to see excessive heat. And then we have heat advisories, still very hot, still worthy of a warning and a watch, but just not quite as hot as the other areas. That is also in place until Friday at 11, expecting things to start calming down, quieting down, cooling down as we go through the week. One of several factors in this heat wave is the lack of clouds. We have nothing in the sky that could block those sun rays from hitting the ground. So it comes right down and hits us, heats up that ground, and then goes right back up into the environment all the way back up into space. When you have clouds, it helps level that out a bit. It stops all of the sun or most of it or part of it, depending on how cloudy it is. So we are going to get the full force of the sun this week with only a very slight chance for a few clouds later in the week, which I'll show you on the future track, but they are not looking like they would do anything good for us. Very clear looking out at that Black Butte Ranch camera as well. Moving through, we're going to see this satellite and radar image for the most part this entire week. When we look at the winds at this point, it's a really good thing. We have very, very light winds. Nothing expected right now, more than five to 10 miles per hour. A couple places may get in the 10 to 15, but we want to keep those winds down so we don't increase the fire danger. And when we start getting that stronger wind plus the higher temperatures and all of this heat, that's when those red flag warnings come in. But at this point, we're having this high pressure center. You can see as it shifts down into Tuesday, it's starting to grab some of this much, much, much warmer air, bring it right up, circle it, and then shoot it right back down. So we're getting hit with this hot air in two directions as it goes up and then as it comes right back on down. When you get to the future track, you'll notice there's a few clouds right through here. This is Wednesday morning at 2 a.m. Not going to help with the sun very much at that time of the day. They're very light, very very high level. They may stick around just a little, but by the time we get to Thursday, we should be back to seeing those completely clear skies. Again, does not help with the temperatures. Here's where we are now. Closest to the triple digits again, Bend, Redmond's close, Madras and Sun River. Also in those upper 90s, the rest of us in the mid. You can see a not too much of a drop happens. We actually stay extremely warm overnight tonight. Well above average, nearly 10 degrees in some areas with those temperatures ranging upper 40s, low 50s to low 60s. Then when you take a look at tomorrow's temperatures, here we go, triple digits at this point everywhere but Sun River, but I'll be honest, I'm pretty expecting that Sun River will hit triple digits as well. If we hit the temperatures that you're seeing here across your seven day, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, at least we'll all break records.